So if you want Stacy's baby to be raised as a Buchanan, sign the prenup so we can get married and get the ball rolling. Of course, I would want you to sign anything without reading it first, and you can have a lawyer look it over if you wish, but I'm telling you, this is the final draft. There's no negotiating. I think it's a pretty good deal, if I do say so myself. So, Miss Andrews, it's all up to you. I'll be getting back to you. Whereas the parties are about to contract marriage, what does that mean? Thanks. Need anything else? You are such a dog! Ma'am, do you need anything else? Stop mentally undressing every good-looking guy you see. What can I say? It's been a really long time since I've had sex. Yeah, you and me both. Look, just don't get distracted, okay? You still have to sign that form so you can marry Clinton. Raise my little girl. Sign it? I can barely read it. It's a prenup. It just says blah, 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 and get Zilch if you divorce Clinton. Zilch? As in nothing, does it really say that? Probably. Just stay married, you guys don't ever have to find that out. Oh, yeah, right. After the ideas, we'll just live happily ever after. Why not? Are you serious? Name one couple you know that stayed together forever. If this is the only way you're gonna get custody of my baby, then sign the prenup. You can figure a way out of it later. We're not exactly legal eagles. But one just flew in. Go get him, Tiger. You're a hotshot lawyer, right? <laughs> sure. Oh, great. So you can translate this? Can you tell me what it means? Can you afford my hourly rate? Depends. Can you afford mine? <laughs> Do I need to refer you to uh, Section 5902 of the uh, Penal Code? Could you relax? I'm just going to sit next to you. Let the whole joint think you could bag a girl like me. I mean, that's got to be worth at least what you make an hour, right? <laughs> Sounds very tempting, but... Uh, oh, come on. Just use your powers for something good. Fine. It's fine. I suppose I could take a quick look while I'm waiting for my... Is that a boy? Oh, prenuptial agreement. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. You're marrying Clint Buchanan. Thanks for coming. It's a pretty standard prenup. You get a small lump sum if the marriage dissolves within a year. And a little more for each year the marriage continues. Look, I know he's your type, but concentrate. That agreement didn't sound so bad. Mm, there is an infidelity clause. Sorry, what? Uh, an, an infidelity clause. Infidelity is... Yeah, I know what it means. What exactly does the clause say? Well, should you ever be unfaithful to Mr. Buchanan, you wind up with uh, absolutely nothing. Cheat on Clint. He gets to throw me out with nothing but the clothes on my back? Well, unless, of course, those clothes were purchased by Mr. Buchanan, in which case, you don't get those either. <laughs> I must say, whoever drew up this agreement is good. It's ironclad. No loopholes. No exceptions. Good luck to you. Thanks for your help. Sure. <sighs> I really like Clint. But are you willing to give up the chance to sleep with any other guy for the rest of your life? Not bad. But he could never give you everything you could want it. Not like Clinton Cannon can't just sign the papers. It was your idea to marry Rich Guy, Kim. I know that. You were done with meaningless sex with guys who could barely afford a night in a roach motel. Oh, maybe I exaggerated a little. I'm asking a lot, asking you to raise my daughter. I said I'd do it. And it's the best way, too, in a, in a stable marriage with a guy who can afford to fight for custody. I know, I know. It's just forever's a really long time. I know. But I'm not actually here, so... I can't force you to do anything you don't want to do. If you don't want to go through with it, then somebody else will just race you. Hi, I was just heading home to give you this. 
You signed it. Of course I did. So let's do it, cowboy. 